Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Christian Hardscaper. If you're uh, watching this video, it's because you clicked on my channel and you're uh, checking it out and I'm glad you're here. Um, I guess I just wanted to um, introduce you to myself. My name's Kyle Henderson. I'm the owner of Henderson Hardscapes here in Massachusetts. And, um, you know, I really created this channel out of my uh, desire to share the work that I do with, with the people on YouTube. I think that the... The work that I do is very interesting. I'm interested in it. I love doing it. And um, that work includes, uh, I know a lot of my uh, my popular videos right now are plowing videos, which I, uh, I plow with a 2017 Ford F-250 with a uh, Fisher Minute Mount 2 8 foot straight blade. Lost my plow marker over here in one of the last storms. Just check that out. I'll throw a little clip in right now of me breaking it. <laughs> that was a fun storm, the blizzard of 2022. But again, my channel, guys, I... um. I do a lot of landscape construction and uh, hardscaping, which includes patios, walkways, um, walls, stairs, and driveways made out of natural stone and concrete pavers. Um, it's a really good trade, and you know, I, like I said, I wanted to uh, to share this work and maybe spark an interest in other people that are out here in the the landscape field that are uh, you know possibly interested in this trade. And um, you know, I just want to show how fulfilling it is and how. Uh, how we go from beginning to end on a lot of these projects. So, say hi to everybody, Gim. <laughs> Gimli from Lord of the Rings, long haired Rottweiler. <laughs> so, this is my humble abode. Got a lot of work on the outside of this house to do. I've been living here for a few years. Just did all these windows last winter. And a nice view in the backyard. I do. Um, I guess a little bit of background is a lot of these videos that you're going to watch. Um, I do subcontracting. I have a lot of jobs that I've done uh, for my cousin who owns Warren Landscaping. I uh, subcontract and I, I get complete the jobs that he sells. But um, I also have a lot of my own um, contracts and work that I do myself. And, uh, you know, as, the, as time goes on, we'll see how it goes. But um, that's the way it is. You know, I'm uh, 31 years old. I started this company, Henderson Hardscapes, um, last year. So I've been in business for myself for a little over a year. But I've been doing this work since I was 16. So I got about 15 years of experience when it comes to... Um, all sorts of work like lawn maintenance, um, you know, spring, fall cleanups, mowing lawn, trimming, trimming shrubs and uh, bushes, uh, edging, weeding, mulching flower beds. And on the landscape construction side, I've done all sorts of work that includes lawn installations, um, plantings, grading, excavation, um, prep work for patios, walkways, walls, installs of wa patios, walkways, walls, stairs. Um, natural stone work, um, all that stuff. And my channel is going to slowly but surely be filled up with all that content. So, if you're watching uh, the videos as of right now, most of these videos are going to consist of me and my brother in law Ben. And then, if you watch these plow videos, and hopefully this year to come, uh, my nephew Travis is involved and he's pretty interested in this stuff too. So, I'm happy to have him with me, have my brother in law with me. We got a really good crew and um, you know, we're not really focused on trying to have this big company and all this work and all these contracts like a lot of people are. We're really just more focused on enjoying the work that we do and the, the end results. Um, you know, it's important for us to, to give a good product for the customers in our area, for our community, to, to serve our community well with the service that we provide. And um, that's number one to me. It's all about quality of work, having fun and um you know living life the way that it's supposed to be lived it's not supposed to be lived constantly chasing money and um and growth and riches and 
possessions and more of this more of that you know it's really about being content where you are in life and um and taking growth as it goes you know growth in life should be should be taken um a little bit at a time you know you shouldn't be constantly seeking to grow 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 non-stop you need to really sometimes just sit back and and enjoy what you have and be content with what you have and um you know let let life unfold before you my channel name is the uh the christian hardscaper and uh you know i really wanted to incorporate that into it because god is god is everything to me he's the leader and guider of my life and um you know without without that background and without that uh that faith i don't think i'd be able to do what i do and if i did still do what i do i wouldn't be a very happy person it's um you know christianity and uh being saved by jesus christ has really changed my life tenfold and it's the um, most important thing in my life i i thank god and i um glorify him for everything that i have because everything i have has been given to me from him and um that's really what it's all about i'm just uh I'm just here to share share the work that I do, um, the faith that I have, and uh, the reasons behind both. What do you think, Jim? What do you think? Huh? What do you think, pup? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy dog. But anyway, guys, I guess... um. You know, another thing that I really want to mention is, uh, you know, being a Christian and, and believing in the Bible and the God of the Bible, we're all blessed with different gifts and abilities and talents that, um, you know, were given to us to bless the other, other people around us, you know, whether it be in our community, our family, our group of friends, you know, the things that you're good at and the things that come easy to you, um, they come easy to you in my belief because it's the gifts and the talents that God has given to you. And, um, you know, what I believe in, which is what the Bible proclaims, is that we're given these gifts and talents, not for our own selves and for our own, our own pleasures and our own prosperity, but it's actually given to us to bless the others around us. And, um, you know, I, I take that philosophy into my work, into my family life, into everything that I do. And, um, you know, I really, I really focus on on doing what I know how to do for the others around me. Um, you know, I see in my life and in the community around me a lot of people taking advantage of other people um, with their, their own talents and what they have. They they are so prideful to think that they're there from their own work and from their own effort. They truly believe that they, um, their prosperity and, and their talents and their gifts are self-created and self-made. And I think that that's really the mistake in not believing in God is that it, it puts you into a perspective in life where you've earned and you've done everything on your own and that there's no outside factors that have impacted your success. And, um, you know, in my opinion, that's just that's just completely wrong. Everything we have we, we're given is given to us by God. And um, all we can do is be thankful. And that's all that God asks us to do is to be thankful for what we have. Thank, thankful for the world around us and the world that he created for us to live in. Um, you know, he created us to lay down by green pastures and, and to just glorify him by, by living righteously and um, blessing others. And it's something that I don't see much of in this world. I see a lot, especially in our country of America, what I see is a lot of people climbing on top of each other and climbing over each other to get where they are without any regards for the person that they just climbed over and trampled. And um, I, see that, I see that big time with corporate America from a big company, even down, even down to a small one. You know, the greedy people out there that are just very self self-involved and about self-prosperity are really ruining this country for everybody else. This is a, a country created and given to us by God, and it's uh, the land of the free. This is why this country has inspired every other country around the world, is that we're supposed to be here for each other as a community and as a country. And we're supposed to use our, our talents, our blessings, and our gifts to serve the others in our community and our country. And once we get that nailed down, 
in my opinion, I believe is when America America can actually, um, you know, spread across the world and start blessing the the entire world as a as a whole. But until we get our own selves figured out, I don't think that we're doing anything good for anybody around us. So in my opinion, you know, there's a lot of people out there that uh, believe that they don't have the um, they don't have the means to change the world, to, to make any change around them. They look, they look around the world and they think that it's hopeless, think that there's nothing you can do. And, um, you know, personally in my life, I totally disagree with that. Uh, no single person can change the world, but without a doubt, every single person can change their own world. And um, that takes effort and, and desire to, to make a change. And um, what I see a lot of in this world is is people throwing their hands up and saying it is what it is and there's nothing you can do. It's already so far gone. And in my opinion, the only thing that that does is is put us even further away from unity and, and coming together and actually being successful as a, as a nation, as communities, and um, as families. So these are my, my, core, uh, my core beliefs and my faith and... Um, you know what I believe in in life and you know when I was when I've thought about creating this YouTube channel and started getting my uh, my vision together for this YouTube channel I knew that without a doubt I couldn't separate my faith and my uh, my beliefs and um, so with this channel you're definitely gonna get um, you're gonna get that faith and, and my beliefs with it I, I feel like I can't share my work and my life without my faith and my beliefs so you know, if you're uh, if you are a believer, then then amen, and I I thank God that you're here watching, and I hope you enjoy my channel and and everything that I have to offer. If you're not a believer, um, you know, I, there's nothing that Christians can do to really change your mind or your your perspective in life. But all I can do is is invite you to keep your heart open to um, to the fact that there is a Creator of this world and a Creator of us of us people. I don't believe that we came from nothing. I can't even wrap my mind around the fact that everything that in this world is here because two rocks slammed together in the middle of space however many years ago that not one scientist could ever prove it's just it's just wild to me but you know god says that the proof of his creation is creation itself and when you look around at creation you see the trees and the sky and we're blessed enough to live in a generation that we have satellites and we can actually see this world from space, from God's perspective. And I don't know about you guys, but it seems like a perfectly made creation that nobody in their right mind can say something made so intelligently and perfect came from nothing. Um, I think that me personally, I really think that that's something people want to believe that don't want to believe God created us and has has certain expectations on how we should be living in our life. Um, I think that's just a way out out of thinking that way. It's a it's an alternate perspective that people want to hold on to because it's it's easier for them to justify themselves in their life with that belief as opposed to the belief that God created us and created us in His image to represent represent himself you know god created us to uh to have a relationship with him he created us for a relationship to um to be able to talk to you know that's what prayer is all about is that we're here to talk to talk to god he created us to to have a union with him and uh he does that through his spirit his spirit lives inside of us and lives inside of every human being that is on this earth and every every being in the heavens um so those are really, like I said, those are some of my, my core beliefs and faith. And I'd love to, uh, to connect and, and communicate about these things with everybody on my YouTube channel that is willing. Um, it's, it's definitely more important in my life than any of the work or, or videos that I'm sharing is my beliefs and my faith. Um, God's everything to me, guys. So 